Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Oracle Linux 9.6 on VirtualBox. Okay, first go to Oracle official website and download, then we will install on VirtualBox. So, go to oracle.com, then click on products, scroll down, then click on Linux, then click on download Oracle Linux, then again click on this ISO images. See here, we have the latest version 9.6 and if you want older versions, you have to click on any one of these. See here, we have the three types, full ISO, boot ISO and source ISO. And see here, these are the definitions for full ISO, UEK, boot ISO, boot ISO and source ISO. Okay, okay read them and select the respective ISO. So, I am going to download this full ISO. That is dvd iso so click on it but you can download boot iso or source iso it is up to you so in this video i am going to download this dvd iso but the installation process for boot iso or dvd iso is same click on this link to download see download started go to download see here size is 12.7 gigabytes i am cancelling this one because i have already downloaded see here i have already downloaded oracle linux 9.6 dvd iso but if you click on this boot iso its size is very less go to here see size is only 1.2 gigabytes okay i'm canceling this one so in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open oracle virtual box if you haven't installed oracle virtual box then search for my youtube channel how to install virtual box on windows or linux operating systems okay Now click on this new or go to machine and select new. Both are same. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving Oracle. Name can be anything. This is just virtual machine name. Then select the folder. This is the default directory to store this virtual machine files and folders. But if you want some other, click on other. Then select the path and have the NS. then iso images so select the downloaded iso image click on other then select the downloaded iso image click on open see once we selected type change it to linux subtype 2 oracle linux and version as oracle linux 64 bit then select the checkbox that is skip unattended installation then come to hardware by default it is 2 gigabytes memory i am giving 4 gigabytes it is up to you based on availability number of cp cores to hard disk I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, right click and select settings or just click on settings or go to machine and select settings. Okay, all three options are same. I want to change only one setting that is settings, system, then pointing device. I am selecting USB tablet. Then click on OK. Then click on start. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is install Oracle Linux 9.6. Okay, hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. See here the beginning installation is grayed out. Why? Because the options that are marked with red color must be filled or selected or configured. Click on this installation destination. I am okay with the default one. Click on okay. Then root account. If you want to log, you have to skip the checkbox. I don't want so provide the password and confirm the same. Okay, if you hello root SSH login with password. Click on done. Then create user. I'm giving user full name as after school. So I'm okay with this username. Then make this user administrator. Provide the password for this user. Confirm the same then click on ok and i mean done software selection see these are the base environments these are the additional softwares for the respective selection of the base environment we have server with ui server minimal install workstation custom operating system and virtualization first okay if you want to select these additional softwares like dns name or any other option you can select from this list okay 
you are okay with all the setting okay then click on done also if you want to change the time and date you can click on time, language support etc i am okay with all the settings then click on begin installation see installation has been started this will take time i am going to pause this video at the end it will ask us to reboot the system then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps okay in the meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials see installation is completed now click on reboot system click on username and provide the password no thanks then open terminal let me increase the font preferences then select the profile unnamed profile then select this custom font increase it close this one now verify the version that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed oracle linux server 9.6 okay control l the first step after connecting to oracle linux is we have to update the packages sudo dnf update percent percent sudo dnf upgrade hit enter provide the password of sudo user hit enter Type and hit enter. Okay, this will take time. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Oracle Linux 9.6 on VirtualBox. Okay, for more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.